Season 2 Reload is here with Bunker Busters, Snipers actually being buffed, new distinct resing audio, Vondel Battle Royale with a new Champions Quest, and Warzone actually getting a final kill cam finally. All the important items that you need to know right here as we take a look at the updated Fortune's Keep map with the new POI. Now they are bringing back Vondel as a Battle Royale map and technically a new map with the Champion's Quest, but all of those rewards will be the same. I still would love to see a nuke contract for this map as well. But let's go land on the new boat, which is going to have a special buy station on it. I definitely want to see it. It's got a senders on the outside. The first two minutes of the map, this thing's going to be moving around as well. After that, it will stop in some predetermined locations. It has multiple floors of loot, so we might as well just... Oh, okay. It's open at the bottom here. Go down to the bottom. BP also got a slight nerf. I'll go through all the updated balance changes at the end here. Oh. Got my weapons. HRM surprisingly didn't get nerfed, though. Wow, thank goodness I won that. I had no plates. I hear one on the outside here. Here's the buy station. Here, $1,400 UAV is super cheap. There's the bunker buster. I should have bought that. You could buy the wonder weapon in the buy station? Advanced UAV for only 2,800 bucks. Durable gas mask PRD. Of course, this is uh, because I have a slight fire sale going, but even still, the prices are very cheap. Got plates, but we need a cash influx here. Let's pop a UAV. There's still one more. He's going to the buy station right now. No, 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 no. Of course, with the update, they've also added a new weapon. It's going to be a battle rifle as well as a sword, which I did buy from the store. We'll try out. Uh, there's a dune pack for it. You can get them from the weekly challenges and battle pass as well. Let's buy it. Bunker Buster, there it is. So this will go through three floors of a building and leave a gas explosion afterwards. Kind of want to use it somewhere where we can see the effect, though. Let's call it there. Firing missile at target coordinates. Stand by. Does show an indicator on the minimap. And it missed. But Negative it did leave a gas Missile column there as well. <laughs> it could have been because we were on the boat. Or uh, maybe it's because the game is bugged. They're also adding a conversion kit for the Holger 556. That'll make it a double barrel and have a giant drum. Something else they had mentioned uh, another update to is when you aim down sight, if I'm directly aimed at this... Right when you ADS, it will be exactly where your crosshair is pointing. Rather than slowly going to it, the sway will begin afterwards. Oh, that guy just got embarrassed. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Should just make the game feel more accurate when you're aiming at something. Both for mouse and for controller. Wait, what was that? Mysterious key card. They did say there would be something about this. Likewise, they made even more improvements to audio, parachutes, and ascenders you can hear from even further away. Likewise, even with rezzing somebody, they've now added a distinct audio cue for rezzing when you begin the process, and the another audio cue for somebody who's rezzing with a med vest, so you can immediately tell if they're going to be rezzed quickly. We are in resurgence as well, which we've been waiting for a combat record for, and all of the stats that you've had in this mode will carry over and should now be reflecting so you can see how bad your gay D is like me. Ooh, activate the decontamination system. So this is good if we are actually in the zone. We can hit that to have it act like the new PRS system, PDS system. The gas protector. Oh, yeah, it's 10 grand for this. We get the advanced UAV, though. Oh, we can get another bunker buster, actually. Oh, here it is, the PDS system. So you can toss this in the zone, and it'll send out a radius that'll keep you protected from the zone for 15 seconds. Earlier game, and in the final two zones, it'll protect for 7 to 8 seconds. About half the duration. 
want to see if we can go in this room. But it doesn't look like it. Oh, unlock. Oh, here we go. Hey, and we got a fire sale. Nice. Cat sniper kitted on the wall. Durable gas mask. Massive cash kitted Ram Bass B. That's another new gun they're going to be adding or, or a, a attachment for. The Bass B is going to have a lever action conversion kit coming later this update. For the weekly challenges. They did buff the uh, Wonder Waffer. I still don't feel like it's going to be worth using, though. It does 100 damage. It's not going to force people to shoot their guns anymore. No. I don't have enough plates. But wait. Can I bunker bust them? Maybe I'm gonna... I'm, oh, bunker buster incoming. It does warn you. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's the column of gas, which will force him to use his gas mask. Which is still a benefit. That goes through three floors, so... You can still see it here. Throwing knives were also nerfed, though. They do less damage. Now they're only going to one-shot if you get the headshot on it. They did also disable Rebirth res or, uh, Resurgence Proximity Chat. Uh, kind of unfortunate. I liked it. They also nerfed the frag grenades, which have been going crazy. It still does a lot of close damage if you get it right on, but the proximity damage for medium and far range is not going to be as absolutely insane as it has been. So we can activate this, but I don't... It, I thought I could also move the ship, but I guess we can't. Unless I haven't found the controls yet. In terms of actual gun balance, though, there was a lot of buffs. The Holger 556 with that conversion kit coming. Got a nice damage buff and damage range buff. The SV545 got an ADS speed increase. As well as Sprint to Fire. The Sidewinder got yet another buff. It seems like they want us to use it. Recoil and aim down. Side speed increased. The Ram 9 got its barrel attachments buffed, all of them. Probably should have pushed that guy out. I switched up some of my attachments on my HRM. Also don't have perks, though. I think he just Enemy jumped off. Oh, or another's here. He must have been resetting. The Bruin LMG got some damage multiplier increases, movement speed, aim down sight speed increases. Maybe it'll return to some of its former glory of the olden days. Ooh, he just went up there. In terms of nerfs, the BP-50 now does less damage less damage range, and more recoil. So we could stay on this boat as well and hit the butt. Let's do it. Let's stay on the Ten boat remain. for a bit, see if it You're works. Almost done here. We've got 10 squads active in the field. Oh, no, it's locked. Okay, so after zone four, that effect locks. And the other high highest high player high is high on our boat. Risk, we do have this PDS system we could pop. The Ram 7 also, of course, got a nerf. That thing's been going crazy. Mainly was the damage range that nerfed it. And, of course, the MTC 762, even though it only has a small mag, got yet another nerf. Oh, just moved. Now the guy above me knows I'm here, though. And on the shore. Guess we could just take the Wonder Waff. There's a PA there. 762 does have less damage, multiplier, and damage range, so maybe won't hit quite as hard. 
My favorite change, though, is the snipers actually got a buff. Although very minor, their aim down sight speeds were increased. Both the XRK and the CAT. Gas is closing in. Missed everything. No! <laughs> but that's pretty much the main overview of all of the patch notes. A couple more specific details, but I don't think we're going to see too many meta shifts. My guess is the new battle rifle that they're adding is going to be the effective long range thing, especially with the RAM and the MTZ nerf. Potentially, this new Holger 556 buff. Makes it a little more interesting, especially with the conversion kit. Unfortunately, though, you can only play this mount on solos or in trios with the playlist update they've done, adding Vondell into the mix for trios and potentially I'm going to go for a nuke contract on that. I never got it back in Warzone 2, but of course, only playing at trios is going to make it much harder. There's still another per- I thought it was just 1v1. Calls in a buy station, though. Plenty of cash. Oh! Bunker Buster! Top three situation. He buys a Bunker Buster to send it through the map when the guy's hiding underneath. He gets a hit! It looked like a flesh tag. That will be a column of gas that does do damage to him as well. You can even see it on the tack map. It's a green radius. He does have at least one base gas mask that he could use. If he buys even the uh, PDS system, I had one on my body back there. Could give him another seven seconds of living through the zone. That does appear on the tack map as well if somebody calls in that system, but there it is. Nice health lead. Stim pushes him out. Still going to run on the big map. Check that out. Good overview. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel here. And thanks so much for watching. And there, hey, there's the final kill cam. That's cool.